Welcome back to Music & Wood. Today is a slightly different video. We're going to talk about Blackstar amplifiers. There's been a lot of controversy on the internet and on forums and things like that around Blackstar amplifiers. Some people like them, some people don't. Some people cite that they are just not true valve amplifiers. They definitely have tubes in them, so at least they're being driven via tube rather than transistor in that case. There are definitely some solid state models that Blackstar make, and I've not actually played any of those, only their tube variants, but I really enjoy them. This is not a sponsored video. Nobody's paying me to talk about Blackstar. I just really like Blackstar amplifiers. Great, so I've got two here, the HT5 Head Mark I and the HT Stage 100 Mark II. They're both great amplifiers for different scenarios. Obviously the 5 watt being awesome for cranking and playing at home. I've got a custom cabinet that I made with a Jensen 12 inch speaker in there and it sounds really nice. It took me a while to find a speaker that I really liked for this head. And then I've also got the uh, HT100 uh, stage here that I run through a, a cabinet. Sometimes it's four speakers, sometimes it's eight, so it's either sometimes the half or full stack. And those are actually not really amazing speakers. They're acoustic lab speakers, and I think they're only about 30 bucks a speaker, but it really does sound nice through that closed back cabinet uh, running this high wattage head through it. it there is also a uh, wattage cut. You can cut the power down from 100 down to 10 watts. And on both of these, there are some really nice direct outputs. So you can plug right into your uh, digital audio interface and then record into your DAW however you need and not have to worry about miking. I do like to mic them because I really like the sound that the speakers provide. And that brings me to the first point about sound. If you don't like the sound of an amplifier, definitely try it with different speakers. I did buy a, an HT40 Club and that was the Mark II that I purchased to that. I didn't really like the sound of the speaker in there. I thought that the capabilities and the tone section and drive section of the amp were great. I just didn't really like the speaker tone. So that's why I went with the head version of the 100 watt and then used the speakers that I already knew I liked and used with another head that I already had. And after I, I found that I really did like the Blackstar 100, I wanted something a little less power that I could play at home. So I got the HT5 used, in fact, not new, and just did a video on how to replace the tubes in here. You can go check that video out as well if you'd like to see how to replace tubes in an amplifier. And now it sounds even better than it did when I first purchased it, and also even better with a custom cabinet that I made. So really, when it comes down to it, Amplifiers are all about the sound that you like. Similarly to any gear, guitar pickups, pickup selections, or your tone mixing on your guitar, your tone mixing through your cabinets. Of course, there are sciences to uh, musical engineering, sound engineering of how you want your instrument to either cut through a mix or to blend better with a mix. Uh, and sometimes you have to change the tone for that to be able to punch through or not but really it boils down to what do you like? And I really like the sound of Black Stars. Uh, I've not tried any of the solid state amplifiers, only the tube amplifiers, uh, so I can't speak to those, but I do definitely like the tube amplifiers that they make. Also, I wanted to just touch on reliability. This is a used head from, I believe, 2014. Still running great. There's no problems at all with HT5 Mark I that I've got. I just wanted to replace the tubes because they were getting a little old, a little tired, and I thought that there might be a brighter sound possibly that I could get from that head. And after replacing the tubes, it's just pristinely perfect for what I want. Maybe it's somewhat of a different tone than what you want, but of course, find the guitar and the amplifier and the speaker combination that works for you. The HT Stage 100 Mark II that I have here, I've jammed with quite often, cranked it quite loud, and uh, it's gotten pretty hot, but I've not had any problems with anything there. I've even, in fact, left it on for an entire weekend. Now, I wasn't driving the power output section or anything like that, but it totally is fine. Nothing's wrong. Uh, so, in terms of reliability, I don't see any issues with Blackstar amplifiers myself. 
There are definitely schematics you can find online if you need to, to work on them. As far as I'm aware, you can't easily get them from the Black Star website, but they're out there. And if you understand electronics, you can probably open this up safely and deal with it. But of course, there's high voltage in there, so make sure you do understand electronics. You do understand that you're dealing with high voltage electronics and you are safe. Mainly those power capacitors are the uh, possible problem area. And there are definitely videos of how to deal with uh, discharging those safely and other things like that. So I just wanted to wrap up this quick talk about Black Star amplifiers with, they're great. I love them. I use them often. I've got a low watt and a high watt version. And when it comes to tone, it's all about what you want. It's all about how you play and what you want to hear. Well, come back next time on Music and Wood, and I've got a special fun surprise for the next video. See you next time.